Zenlet Gamers, all my Zenla Zone Zero gamers. So, I feel like recently a lot of people have been quitting Zenla Zone Zero, and it's just, I say a lot of people, and I specifically just mean the content creators, like a lot, a few CCs. I know Legions quit recently, and he even like nuked his channel of all the content he made of uh, Zenla Zone Zero. I really wanted to talk about it a little bit. And I wanted to know if Hoyoverse or the game itself f failed content creators. Just to give you a brief summary for me, I've had a pretty, pretty good time of it. I pretty much don't have to rush everything because I stream maybe like once a week and I'm mostly covering other games. So a lot of videos or I bounce around a lot of games for gotcha games. So I don't really run dry of what I can do in Zone, Zone Zero. And I don't really do a lot of gameplay other than streams. So i always like I, I haven't even finished chapter three yet <laughs> so there's still plenty of time for me to milk it and especially with honkai star rail with that uh new update coming out you know the, uh, i'll get to it when i get to it i'm having a great time but I, I feel like the marketing for the game itself was a little bit off base because we are content creators we you know we look into a lot of stuff because we're fucking ner nerds and losers but they did say that they were going to make it i think it was only like in a one-off post i don't know how often they said this but they said that this game was going to be a very casual game that you maybe log in like five minutes a day and that should have been the hint to a lot of people that uh this game wasn't going to be something you stream every day now you can stream it every day don't get me wrong but we're gonna get into that how you do that later or at least my idea from what i've heard from different people different people being mr pokey as he said very neutrally other than that time that they said it this game was very very much marketed as like very action intensive game like you're gonna be in there and fighting and doing cancels and all this other shit and goober canceling all over their face and car canceling on their moms and shit like that but it, at when the game came out it turns out it wasn't really like that you can pretty much button mash and just get through the game now button mash i mean like you know if you have ellen joe like me you know you have to do the running thing like twice and i think you get the full stacks on it and then you can pretty much keep it up if you manage your ability right because you know you could just do the um, regular dodge and then you you still keep your stacks up and stuff like that but I'm not here to give an Ellen Joe guide. I feel like that time has passed because, you know, Juyuan's out and Juyuan is out for I don't know how much longer. So I feel like a lot of content creators were doing it wrong from the beginning. Like they were trying to rush it and try to get to end game and stuff like that and see what's at end game and then they're going to milk that and farm that and all that. But I feel like that was probably not the move, in my opinion, because this game was a game that you kind of had to take slower because of how much first of all how much content there isn't in the game because it is a brand new game it was just released and just how casual the game is like you might as well just run around honestly and talk to chat so this is what i said when i talked about what mr pokey said i heard a lot of these games and i think tectone said this as well a lot of these games are just like just chatting simulators that's how gotcha games are and how cc should be doing them from what i've heard you know, it's not like I stream, so I don't know. And people were out here like trying to get the best builds and the best guides and stuff like that. And people just wanted to hang out and watch the game and talk to their favorite uh, streamer, which hopefully is me to somebody. I don't know. So I definitely think a lot of people were doing that the wrong way. I don't want to say the wrong way, but probably not the most optimal way. Probably not the most DPS, the, not the highest DPS version of making that kind of content now as for a as for someone who is still a consumer myself you know i still play this stuff off off stream quote unquote uh, off the time that i stream you know when i don't record videos and stuff like that i'm still very much like i don't consider myself a content creator yet to me content creators like people with like 5k to 10k subs on youtube and like getting constantly views like you know people that someone that people go to that's a content creator to me people don't go to me they just stumble across my videos and you know they hear me say stupid shit so as someone who still does things from a consumer perspective i think this game was pretty much a success i think this game delivered exactly on what it promised for the most part again because the combat the combat was like this selling point right and the combat didn't really deliver in a way that i feel like it should have delivered but at the same time you know it's still fun so for a consumer i think 
the the game for consumers is pretty much a slam dunk. The characters are great, everything else, the music and all that stuff. Now, what I think CC should probably be doing in the future, and this is just my opinion, you know, my neutral opinion, my what I think I should, what I think people should do is just take it slower, especially with what like Everness to Neverness coming out. I don't know even know if I said that right. It's one of the two. Azure Pamelia, Honkai Star Rail has an update, but I feel like people have already figured out how to stream and farm Honkai Star Rail. So I, I can't really say that. But anyways, doesn't matter what game comes out. You got you know you gotta take it slow. You know. You can't be, like, not reading your chat and, like, focusing in on games when we're doing gotcha games, you know? Now, that's my opinion. Tell me I'm wrong. You are more than welcome to. I'm not going to be like, it's my opinion. You can't say that I'm wrong. No. By all means, if you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comment section. Yell at me. Yell obscenities at me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash the blue demon ring. Rin. Uh, and anyways, but I just want to say to people who are watching these cc's that are like quitting and stuff like that I, I i say just find like a cc that you really enjoy and whether they quit whether they still play you know just support them <laughs> just support and find your favorite cc if they enjoy the game cool if they don't enjoy the game you know that's a disappointment you could always just find another one especially if you're, you guys are like youtube watchers like you could always find a different cc on youtube because you know videos don't go on forever <laughs> But that's all I wanted to say. I, I in conclusion, did ZZZ fail uh, content creators? I'd say yes and no. It really depends on how informed you were on the game. The TVs definitely fucking failed us. Holy shit, the TVs suck. <laughs> the TVs failed everybody. <laughs> There's not a single person with the TVs didn't fail. I, I, you know, God, man, I sure love TVs. Chat, do you love TVs? Anyways, that, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Anyway, chat, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you gamers in the next one. Bye. Bye.